So about six years ago, Orange County Public Schools committed to bringing agri-science back into the classroom, and now every public high school in Orange County offers the elective, and 11 middle schools do too. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton takes us to Avalon Middle School to show us how getting your hands a little dirty is getting results in our schools. It's basically the formula for photosynthesis, right? That's the top part. If you just take a quick glance. So I want everybody to sort your M&Ms or Skittles. This looks like a typical science classroom. This actually gives them like a visual of the molecules that they're using. But look closer and you'll notice newly hatched chicks, even a sleeping cat. <laughs> and just steps outside. That is Mr. Pickles. Mr. Pickles? Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. Can I it is a science classroom, but it's a really fun, hands-on, descriptive science classroom where they're learning life skills, they're learning um, all the things that they need to be successful in school and in the world. I feel like if I got to come to school and do this, I would really want to come to school every day. Yes. You find that? Yeah, absolutely. That's, I think, the number one thing that parents have told me um, is when, when they talk to me about the program, they thank me because kids, middle school is hard. I mean, it's a hard age, it's awkward, it's, it's just tough. And um, as a rule, the kids really love coming to this class in particular. They like, I mean, they like all their electives, but this gives them that sense of belonging. This is the Avalon Middle School 8th grade honors agri-science class. <coughs> Students grow plants, raise and care for geese, ducks, chickens. <laughs> That's Albie, he's our, our little <laughs> flock rooster. He's fancy. And um, sheep. I would actually say it's a really old way of teaching. Um, it's like kind of going back to our roots um, as Americans and as humans. I mean, our basis in society is agriculture. And so, you know, getting out and working the land, um, learning how to produce plants, learning how to raise animals, um, how to care for them successfully, all of that. That's, I mean, those are skills that we've had for millennia at this point. So I think that we took that away for a long time. I'm gonna give them some hay. 13 year old Anika is the future Farmers of America chapter president and sheep mom to Daisy. Is it as great as you thought it would be? It is, it's even better than I thought. <laughs> Cause when I first joined, I thought it was only animals, but now I realize there's so much more to it than just animals. Yeah. When they come to my class, they learn history, they learn science, they learn math, they learn how to write correctly, um, and they're seeing a real world application for it. <laughs> so it's crazy important. That was awesome. I was just like, thank you. And I love seeing the kids. They just light up around those Such animals. Such a cool program. Yes. And that program has brought animals to my kids' elementary school before the sheep so uh, running cool. around. And, man, it, nothing changes a kid's day like being <laughs> right? able to play with a farm animal.